You're joking, right? Well, yeah. I'm trying to be hopeful. I'm trying to be optimistic yeah. about that. Well, I guess you're too young to be a little pessimistic like me. The fucking things I see out there, people are stupid. Hey, Bron. They say at, you get tired from... Oh, I just got tired. My eyes got heavy. Um, <laughs> you know, sometimes when you, when you blink <coughs> and your eye, it like takes an extra second for you to open them because you're so tired and you're like, oh yeah. shit, my eyes almost didn't open after that blink. That's what or like happened. you feel like your eyelashes got locked up. No, that's not what happened. No. Just that. that only happens if I'm like, have an eye infection. Oh. Um, yeah, so I just went to the shooting range with, uh, <laughs> okay, with Bronson and not with Bronson, with Bryce and Burke. And it's, it's an outdoor range up in Palm Beach. First of all, it's the end of the fucking world. It's an hour from here. It's where Scott lives. He met us, and it was real. What? Nothing. What? I said dox him, meaning like give all his private information. You don't want to know Scott's last name. No, I know. Uh, okay, it was, a, it was so, a joke. Okay, so good joke again. Thanks. I always get those wrong. So um, it it was far, very cool, out to range. It was a lot of fun, and I and I feel drained a little bit from shooting. You know, but it was it was a great time. What if I just slapped you across the face? Why are you so weird? What would, that would wake you up. I'd beat the shit out of you. You would right now? If yeah, I, I would punch you. you in your face. You would? Yes. Um, oh, fuck, I'm so tempted to do but, it. But um, it was a lot of fun. We shot. Kevin brought some cool guns. I got to get some more guns. Why? I don't know. I just got to get some more guns. I got to, you know. No, like no. What you need to do is you need to get more cigars, really. You don't have enough. I thought about getting a couple more cigars. He, ha- he has thousands, and he smokes maybe one a month. So I was... I was making fun of him. I was bullying. But him. I do want to get a couple more cigar. I'm not. I don't care what you to say. Um, I I would like to get a couple more guns. I don't know why. Okay. I just think we there, there's some of these guns are so fucking cool. Yeah, but to use once a year for, it, or never for even to fun. use, just to have, just say you have. They're cool. Oh, why? I don't know. You can never have enough guns. Yeah. I mean, I got plenty. I do have plenty. <laughs> it's just weird. <coughs> Excuse me. It's just weird because guns, like, the only reason they exist is to kill. I'm not looking to kill anybody. No, so it's just weird to be like, you can never have enough guns. It's like, but why? Know, what, but do you, what are they for? Protection, I guess, in case. But then you can't have enough because you only have one hand. Yeah, but. Right? So it's not like a matter of, like, you I know, know like certain things. like a hobby. Like, like food, you can never have enough because it's like, I'm going to use it all. Guns, it's like, if you're in a situation where you're using a gun, you can't use I four. Nev- I never want to be only in a situation. But look, I have more than max. one car. I have many cars. I can only drive one at a time. I have two motorcycles. I can only use I have how many but watches? cars have a purpose. Do they really? How many day. watches do you really need? You don't even need a watch. You can look at your iPhone. Oh, no, no, but, but the, here's the thing. The purpose of a watch is to tell time, which you, which you use all the time. The purpose of a gun. Actually, there's more purpose to a watch, too. There's more purpose it's, to a it's gun. It's aesthetic. It's the only purpose to is a gun to is to protect yourself. No, protect yourself. By killing. Protect yourself. No, you maim them. Okay, by, by injury. Uh, but mark injury. my words up. Because like, you could protect yourself other ways. But if someone's going to break into the house, you'd rather me have a gun than not. Right, but, but that's what I'm saying. So it's like, why do you need seven? You can only use two max, right? But one in each hand. But I need one for each of my boys to be in the house. <laughs> Quick. Also, we're never in the house. Yeah. I don't know. I just, some of my friends have such a gun collection. It's, I envy it. I do. When that's I see it. That's one thing that I, I just don't get at all. <laughs> I get it. That's not your thing. But when I see the gun collection, I'm like, I want more guns. I get like a little, not jealous, envious. Envious is the worst one. Oh, jealous. Yeah. Because <laughs> I don't, I, I wish them well. I just want what they have. <laughs> yeah. You know. Like you, we saw a black. Um, you get inspired. How about that? More motivated. You don't get jealous. You're not like, you don't deserve this. I no, want No, I'm it. happy You're just like, them. that's sick. I'm like, I want to help me too. buy me. No, I want some, yeah. you know. That but you you just have like a bit of a, an addictive personality type. No, the things you, that I like, I like to get. But you'll like go, right. Not, a, think about what I really no, but like. What's it? Remember, about? like seven years ago, you read one book that you liked, and you were like, "I need to buy every book there is." No, I found it interesting. Try no, there's no, but a see, that's but that's your personality. No, it's not no, wrong. No, that's who you are. I don't take this wrong, but no, you, you to, smoke one cigar, and you're like, "I need to spend a hundred thousand dollars on cigars." No, couple things. Let's talk about the reading for a moment. I need to do so much that I need to get try, a, a new try a, space storage space for it. You try to find different hobbies, things that might interest you. So if you I, you find a book that you like. You say, let me see if I can find another book I like. But then I'm not into reading as much as you are. And I don't have the time because I read a lot for my business. So it didn't take off for me. But I tried it. Yeah, but, but you have to try people, things. When most people try a hobby, they're like, 
dip their toes in. You're like, I'm going swimming in the ocean for, for three weeks. But I'm an intense you know? guy. That's, that's just how I am. Exactly. I'm intense. That's what I'm saying. I'm very intense. That's what I'm saying. So go big, go home, motherfucker. Like some, some people will be like, oh, I want to get into guns and they'll buy like one handgun and they'll like practice. No, but practice. I've had guns for years. Yeah, but uh, all I'm saying is that that's your personality and you agree, you agree with that. I would love, I just have the room, I should take one of your rooms and make it into a fucking gun room, like all on the wall with like ammo. Like scope. Is that what you're thinking of in her That basement? was cool, wasn't it? But how great like that Like display them on the walls? Why? How fucking great would that be? Or you have like a... Our house isn't set up, but I'd have like a fucking panic room where you have all... You hit a button, the fucking thing opens up, you have... We, oh. Okay, you can't even get the you can't even get the uh, light switches to connect to your iPhone. You think you're going to be able to get a panic room to work? That's your fault. <laughs> no, it's not. It's where, because technology where, We sucks. got the other Wemo. Where does it go again? What was it for? Cabana path. You'll fix that for me? I can't install it. Of the electrical. I don't want to fuck around with All the right, electrical. Wait, I'm going to text Santusha. Uh, it, it can wait till after. Can really? I want you to vamp. That's scatting, actually. Install the. That's crazy. That, that was a thing that humans did like a hundred years ago. They were just. They were just like. Uh, oh, instead of music that sounds good, or instead of singing words, let's sing the instruments, but make up words. Keep going. That was scattered. Okay. Yeah. 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 Three hour nap. You have a cold. Whoa. You have a cold. Sorry, sorry. You have a cold. Yeah, for like a week though. It's so weird. But everyone has it too. It's bizarre. I don't just mean like every one of my friends who I was with. Everyone has it. My friend in LA texted me a screenshot of a, of a group chat that was like, "Why is everyone sick right now? Why do we all feel like shit? And then my friend group chat also had the exact same conversation today. But it's funny the difference between guys and girls. The girl group chat said, the screenshot was like, Oh, it must just be, maybe it's because Mer- Mercury's in retrograde or something. What does that mean? Right? Like, the, hold on, let me see. What's it even mean? I don't know what that even means. Like, hold on, language. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, oh. see, look, my friend sent me a screenshot that said, uh, it, does anyone else not feel good? And then someone said, are we all dead because the full moon is in cancer? And then someone said, God. I was wondering why I didn't feel it. And they said, and Mercury's in retrograde. It's all the things. And then my friend group chat was, how is this the longest month ever and it's only January? And then someone else said, because you were unalive for the first five days. And then they, someone else said, I'm still dead. But everyone, see, everyone's dying. Not dying, literally dying. What? That's like, that's, I don't understand what you just said. Yeah, because you're like a boomer. Hey, um, so when we walked in, Burke told me that when we walked in, there was this guy and girl at the shooting range, like, that's the guy from the podcast. Isn't that funny? Oh, uh, they said that? that yeah. That's funny. That's like a... Where Bryce goes, that's probably all the listeners of the shooting range. Yeah. Oh, definitely. So did I tell you police came to a New Year's Eve party? You did, but you didn't tell the, the listeners. <clears throat> so every year we have, a, we, we've had a couple of really nice New Year's Eve parties. But I mean, you know, it's like catered, nice DJ. Subtle flex, subtle flex. No, I'm saying because it's not know, a rave. It's like just people. No one have, was thinking that you were hosting people, a rave. Like, no, like. So people in their 50s or 60s were just having a good time. It's just really nice. <laughs> you didn't have to qualify that it was not, in fact, a Me, rave where you were okay, all tripping not a rave. and rolling on Molly. Not a rave. Wow, you knew that so so well. Yeah. Um, rolling on Molly. So, Do you know what that means if I said that? So? It was meant to say that it's not a crazy party. Okay. Okay, I used rave as an analogy, not like we're all dancing and, and like... What's a rave to you? Like, what people start doing the headbangers and shit. Okay. You know, Jim, like when we do Mr. Brightside, you know how you dance like that? No, that's not a rave. No, I know that's not a rave, but you know how we dance like that? Dancing? You start jumping up and like down. Like dancing. That. No, different than that. There's, okay. there's a certain kind of dance for Mr. Brightside. Rave is like not that kind of dancing. A okay. rave is like EDM music with lasers and I rather kill everyone's myself. on drugs. So I'd rather kill myself. So last year the cops came. We know it's the same neighbor. Like get a fucking life. It's our New Year's. Get a fucking life. So the cops came and they, they felt like... They bring two cops, three cops, and I'm like, look, whatever. And like, we're going to lower it. I'm like, I'm not fucking lowering it. So I'm like, how, they're like, well, code enforcement's going to come. I'm like, how much is the ticket? It's like 100 bucks. We go, great. 100 bucks. Yeah, I'll pay the fucking ticket. Nothing. And I'll raise my fucking, 
I'll raise it so much more than music just to rest the game. And get on the microphone and yell yeah, the neighbor's yeah. name. Fuck you, prick. Yeah. So um, so what happened was the cops come this year. Two cops come, nice guys. They don't want to come and do this on New Year's. On like New Year's, no way. So, Especially to a white man's house, no so, way. So the guy, right, so the guy goes... Um, <laughs> That's a joke, people. So he's, I said, listen, before you start, I'm just saying right now, I am not lowering my music. Do what you need to. Give me a ticket. I want to join my party. I'm not doing a fuck the neighbor. No, no, who called so what can just turn it down? I go, no, I'll turn it down. So I said, um, have code enforcement come. And then what to do is I said, just leave the ticket at the door. He goes, well, I can't leave the ticket at the door. If they come, they need to speak with it. He goes, no problem, but I'm not missing my own party. So you have you guys ring the bell. You come upstairs to my roof. What would they do? Like, what could Nothing. they do? Nothing. Give me a ticket for, but they'd have to have a decibel, decibel read or whatever. But even so, so like, so then you mom, can't, you can't I'm, get upstairs, I'm upstairs partying. The six cop cars come down, come to this thing. And I'm enjoying that. I mean, what a ridiculous... Yeah. I guess they have nothing better to do. And I don't give a shit. <clears throat> so mom says whatever. She's got all those champagne in her hand. And after like them... Whatever, they just left. And that was it. They just left. What? No, it actually is a good story. I was just giving you shit for doing that to me when I was just doing it. I just was feeling about the you know, if the cops... Whatever, move on. <laughs> no, I was wow, just, you're a dick. I'm not a dick. You're the one that started that first. I was telling a story and you... You do that all the time. You cricketed... I've never... Touch the fucking cricket button. I touch that button every episode. You touch me, you touch the goodbye one. Goodbye. Uh, uh, you call that the goodbye button? I call that the hello button because it starts the show. Okay. I'm a glass half full type guy. You're a weirdo. You're clearly You're a, a little glass strange. half empty type yeah, guy. Yeah, sure I am. Well, I just woke up from a nap, so I like but it was feeling a, it was, energized. So I just thought it, because I know we didn't talk about that at, on the last episode. I know we missed it, and I just want to bring it up. So that was the point of it. Thanks. What would you like to bring up, Bronnie? Uh, Mercury retrograde. No, what does that mean? You know, that's like an astro. You know, astrology. Yes, Bronson. It's like an astrology thing where it apparently. I mean, I don't know. I don't subscribe to any of that stuff, so I'm the wrong person to like ask about it. It would be interesting to like actually get someone who is knowledgeable. I'm using that. Uh, word in quotes for those. That was listening. like a claw. Yeah, yeah. Corner. that was like your. Arth- it was a Tua hand. That was an Arth. A what? Tua. Remember Tua at the Tua Tagovailoa, the Dolphins quarterback. Yeah. Remember when he got the concussion and his hands went all. No, I don't remember that. But yours was like a claw. That's like a good joke if you get it. That's like a funny joke because it means I had like like Tua hands. Okay, whatever. Um, Some air quotes knowledge because it's kind of not anything. But you know how there's like oh you're a, what are you a Aquarius? Aquarius? Mm-hmm. I'm a Pisces. So apparently, like how people will say that. Influences your personality. Oh, you're a classic Aquarius because you blah, 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 whatever, right? There's even more to it than that now, apparently, where now it's like the planets in our solar system can also have a sway on your personality. So, like, you can be, you're an Aquarius, but you were a Cancer moon and a something star or whatever. Like, and it's all these things. Oh it's more, because if you'll say, right, like, I'll, I'll always say to someone, if, if I'm, like, out at a bar and, a, like, talking to a girl or whatever, and they are, like, t- bring up that chick, it's girls. I don't matter how hot you are, I'd walk away. Girls always bring I'd up. I'd walk away. I and would now, walk by, away. By the way, unfortunately, this is just the way it is, and I'm sure every guy listening knows what I'm talking about. Every guy my age. Um, unfortunately, for Brand. some reason, true, the hotter the girl, the Crazy. more they're into that stuff. What's with it? Like, the way more they're into that stuff. I would, I would Ugly run. girls don't give a shit about that would stuff. Would you run? I would run. They're all into it. Not all, obviously. But the thing, so I would always play this game, always, where they would be like, what sign are you? And I'd be like, guess. And then they would Do guess. Do they really ask that question? Is that just to make small talk to fill the One of my friends, okay, I'll just tell you, Jay, my friend Jay, this was like a year ago. I was out at a birthday party with a bunch of my friends. Or like, it was my friend's birthday party, so a bunch of their friends were there that I didn't meet. They were mostly girls. I brought Jay and Bryce to the birthday party, so it was like, they were kind of a group of girls, and then we were brought the kind of group of guys, so it was fun. We were like out the whole day, whatever, good night. Jay and one of the girls start, were like vibing heavy the whole day and night. They were like hanging out, talking, dancing together, whatever, right? Like connected. Well... Then the next week, they went on a date, and Jay was like, the date went really well. It was great. And then, the, like, a couple days after that first date, Jay followed up with her to, like, plan another date, and she said to him, she was like, I did our star signs, 
and they didn't align, so I can't see you again. You gotta be kidding me. And he was, they like got along. They like connected Dude, well. That's a problem. And she was like, well, the stars don't say it because you're a, you're a whatever, whatever, and I'm a the whatever, and those never get along. So I'm, I can't date okay, you. Okay, do you know how retarded that is? It's crazy. Something's seriously wrong with that woman. Yeah. She'll never meet a guy. Probably not. She's crazy. Well, she will meet it. I mean, that's how they, most of them are. This is not me being misogynistic. How do you, maybe you are. How do you, no, not, how do you not have, how do you have a conversation with someone like that? <laughs> so I or make one, fun of them. Or want a future with it, right? I make fun of them. So I'll so say. what do you do? I'll, I'll say guess. And then they'll guess one and I'll be like, oh my God, how the fuck did you know? I, I'll, no matter what they guess. Not once has someone ever guessed Pisces for me. Apparently Pisces men is like a very bad thing. Apparently that's like the worst one. Like I've told girls, right? Like if it's someone ridiculous. asks and I like tell them what I actually am, they're like, oh, red flag. I gotta, I can't talk to you. I don't know why. No one's explained it to me, but apparently like Pisces men. Look it up. Are the, what are, does Pisces men mean? Yeah, let's see. Because it might explain a lot about you. By the way, you got to shave the back of your neck. I can't. Someone else has to do it. Well, you have someone do it. Let's see. Pisces man traits. Eight Pisces men traits that stand out. Uh, eight, signs of, eight signs of Pisces man is in love with you in ways to win him over. Should you read that one? 21 telltale signs a Pisces man is in love with you. So you notice that these are all geared towards women. All these articles. Right. Well, you put in Pisces How, man. Oh, true. That's you're right. You Good put call. A Pisces woman, you'll get the opposite. Good call. Good call. Thank you, Bernie. Um, here, everything you need to know about dating a Pisces man. This oh. is from Cosmopolitan. So someone writes this. That's their job. Oh yeah, for sure. Fucking retards. <clears throat> it's actually a guy and a girl that wrote this. Whoa! And it was published two days ago. That's this bizarre. Article, that's very bizarre. Maybe because we're like about to go into Pisces season. Maybe. I don't know. Because Pisces start February. Still in Aquarius, bro. Yeah, I know. But this, don't take might, my don't take my fucking month away. <laughs> Uh, that says there are just a few basics that need to be explored when you first start dating someone. Where is he from? What does he do for a living? Oh, and most definitely, what's his birthday? This isn't just for remembering when to send that happy birthday text. Knowing a potential boo zodiac sign can really help in understanding his behavior. Astrology helps us break down personality traits, pet peeves, and even dating patterns. It can be fun and informative. Um, okay, so let's see. I guarantee when we do the opposite, you can see how the article is written so different from men because men don't want this unless you're gay. It'll be for like... Gay men dating right. Other that's gay what I'm men. saying. It will not be fucking. Um, let's see. So, if your guy was born between February 12th and March 20th, you're in for a treat. But as it goes with any signs, signs there are some things that you may want to keep an eye out for. Dun dun dun. Um, see, so look, all these things. Modality is mutable. Don't know what that means. That? We're water. I'm a water sign. My element's water. I think you are too. Aquarius. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Aqua. I'm obviously. the water bear. Yeah, I'm a fucking two fish. That's what it says. That's the gayest one. That's the well, one. That that Bryce seem- is like a bull. No, he's a scorpion. Mom's a bull, I think, right? No, Taurus? Mom, mom is, no. Mom Mom's is, Libra. Mom is Libra. What, what's that one? I, I don't know. Um, it says my ruling planets are Jupiter and Neptune. Don't know what any of this means. Okay. So, um, whoa, it even goes on. It says um, keywords, dreamy, playful, emotional, artistic, fickle, romantic, creative, sensitive, idealistic, intuitive, and mystical. Okay. That's everything except business. And everyone would want to be those. Like that's. Yeah. Not really. Um, famous Pisces men, Bad Bunny, Justin Bieber, Trevor Noah, Oscar Isaac, Bronson Bloom. Whoa. It says that in there? No, that's a joke. Well played, Ronnie. Thank you. Oh, that was a joke? We didn't know that. <laughs> um, okay, Pisces men, best traits. Let's see. Pisces is maybe the most creative sign of the Zodiac. He has a naturally artistic mind, and whether he's a full-time poet or just makes fascinating doodles, your Pisces dude has a strong imagination. He's also got a sensitive side. Okay, every side is sensitive. In a good way. Usually more on that in a minute. He's empathetic, in touch with his feelings, and always not to talk. Also, have I mentioned he's amazing in bed? Oh, fuck yeah. Hell yeah. <laughs> um, oh, my God. And even, guys, just so you know, listen, he pointed like a I did finger guns. I did finger, finger guns at the, at the camera. Okay. So we all shot, me and my real boys shot guns, and you just did a finger gun. I did finger guns about Are those loaded? Don't point those fucking fit. Unless, if they're loaded, <laughs> Keep it up put, to the those, sky. put those finger guns <laughs> away. <laughs> <laughs> Oh. I spun him around my fingers and then I holstered him. Yeah, but he dropped one on the floor. <laughs> oh, fuck. <laughs> and it just fired and shot you in the foot. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you took it too far. Yes, and. I was yes anding. It's, it's improv 101. I'm also sweating so badly. Why? I'm completely fine. All right, that's gross. Look at that. What's it say about, um, well, that's because you're carrying two loaded hot yeah, guns. Yeah, sure, I'm nervous. Um, let's see. Uh, sex with a Pisces man, the perfect date for a Pisces man. The Pisces man at home. 
I want to see bad Pisces stuff. His emotions rule his life so heavily that you can rule out using logic to reason with him. The opposite of me. Literally yeah. the opposite. Um, You're not good in bed. Completely opposite from what I hear. Making a relationship work takes more than just good intention. Did you laugh at mine? Yeah. Oh, nice. Thank you. <laughs> okay. um, Mercury, the planet of intellectual thoughts and communication, is actually considered to be detrimental in Pisces. So verbalizing his thoughts and feelings isn't easy at all. It's the easiest thing for you, but that's okay. But also, how is... So they said that you're the, the, we're the most emotional and we can't vocalize our emotions. I mean, right. Um, Gay. As the Zodiac's most subjective sign, he lives life strictly on his own terms. He is impossible to pin down and slips right through your fingers if you try to grab a hold of him. Oh emotional boundaries God. it's nonsense. are hard to set and enforce with him because he needs a space in, for intimate, or he, because his need for space, intimacy, affection, or alone time all shift and change in tandem with his ever-changing mood. In a relationship, in a relationship, his giant heart overflows with affection and adoration for you, but his impossibly high standards for a relationship to always be easy and perfect cause inevitable issues. That's actually pretty true, to be honest. Sip water. What's it say on Aquarius? Um, I mean, this keeps going. Let's do Aquarius men. Someone co- listening, comment down below what you think because I think it's all bullshit. Heard, no, I, think, I mean, like about the Pisces because I've heard, literally had multiple women be like, "Oh shit, you're a Pisces. Uh, I can't talk to you." I think I think all this stuff is bullshit, and people that want to sit there and listen and and use this as an excuse to just bull. Shit. Yeah, this is everything you need to know about dating an Aquarius, man. He's an oddball BFF that you've always wanted to date. <laughs> oh, God. This world, your fucking world's over. <laughs> oh, you're one day with it. Oh, no, you're January 26, right? Correct. It's January 20 to February 18. So I've heard that two people say you're a cusper because I'm three days into Pisces. Or I'm labels. Two days into your, Pisces. your generation with labels, unbelievable. Well, Aquar- uh, Zodiac signs go back. Like before ancient Greece, so I like know, this is no called a cuspy, cusper. Like I'm, I'm on the I, I know, but no, your generation made that. But up. I'm also a cusper with generations, because I was born the first year of or the last year of millennial. So a lot of people will say I'm not fully a millennial. I'm not fully a Gen Xer. I'm, I have traits of both. Where like Burke is fully a Gen Xer, and yeah. you're fully you're like a I'm old. You're like a boomer. I think. No, you're Gen Y, which is the one before millennial. I think. Couldn't even tell you. Um, okay, let's see. Uh, your ruling planets are Saturn and Uranus. Just oh, you're an air sign, not a water Uranus. sign. Uranus. No, Aquarius though is water. It's the water. You're bearer. the water bearer, but your element is air. How can that be? No fucking know. Right. Um, keywords: friendly, unique, geeky, intellectual, complex, offbeat, humanitarian, aloof, small, aloof, smart, and one of a kind. Those are none of. I'm one of a kind. <laughs> um, an Aquarius man's best traits. Here's the thing about Aqu- an Aquarius man. He makes you feel comfortable. He's, he has major best friend energy. This is not you at all. <laughs> You'll always have fun together, and he knows how to make you feel at home, and there's a lot to like about him, too. He's creative. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Smart and tapped into social causes. Aquarius. Right, I'm done. It's described as a rebel with the cause because he's so passionate about whatever the movement close to his heart is. Done. Whether it's his labor union or neighborhood garden, I you at all. Who writes like this? Um, and you know, women are loving this way when they read this, loving it. Yeah, I just had a curiosity, and I don't spend a lot more, much more time. How is the article written if it was reversed? What do you mean? Like read about a woman, like a woman who's let's say, well, let's do Aquarius right. woman because I think it'd be like hot, sexy, you know, Aquarius woman. Let's see if they if that cosmopolitan. Yeah, here dating an Aquarius woman. This is the same article. Looks exactly okay. Right. Yeah, but it's women. Um, let's see. Oh, so so for Aquarius women, I would be included. Look, it goes to February twenty second, but that for men no it went to sense. February eighteenth. That makes no sense. It, I mean, it just must be different. None of this makes sense, by the way. Um, let's see. The best matches for... No, I want the best traits. Sex with an Aquarius woman. Oh, so they don't say the worst trait. They didn't, don't give a trait thing on this one, right? They give the... They don't give traits Just for Just categories. All about Aqu- Aquarius is one of the oldest evolutions of the Zodiac's energy, which is a fancy way of saying Aquarius is an old fart. I'm kidding and astro- astrologically incorrect. 
Technically, farts are an expression of cardinal sign energy. Sorry, Libra. Fart? What does this mean? What does fart? any of that mean? Fart? Yeah. Being part of, uh, many people to struggle to manage their emotions. Aquarius's plight in life is to learn how to be a vessel for their community. As the 11th sign in the Zodiac, Aquarius naturally finds itself within the house of community. So if you have any interest in being romantically involved with an Aquarius woman, you've got to be, you've got to get with her friends. If you've noticed that your Aquarius crush has an interest in chess club, then you better move. Okay, I'm falling asleep. If your Aquarius lover is all about the revolution, what? Okay. Then it's unlikely the racial will work. It's not written for men. It's not written for men. Yeah. What do they mean about the revolution? Um, Oh, but how I got on that basically was because... Yes, how did you? Now the new thing is you're not just... You're not just uh, an Aquarius. You also have to do like where the moon was charted when you were born or where the, the planets Your were. Your generation so fucked up. Because well, it's... We just did something because we thought they were hot and we got along with them. Period. But, but it's a cop-out is what I'm trying to say because like if a girl guesses my sign and I'm like, no, and they'll, they'll guess it wrong every time, they'll be like, oh, well, I need to know like... Because, the, and they'll be like, but these are the traits of Pisces. I'm like, I don't fit any of those traits. They'll be like, oh, well, maybe it's your moon sign or where Mercury was when you were born. That's probably what fits you more. So it's like, if you negate one, you go to the next, the next. Because so they, like, they want to make it fit. Right, exactly. That's what I'm saying. For their shit. So that's yeah. all this new, like, How sad Mercury and retrograde shit. How sad is that? And who gives a shit? You Literally. like somebody, you like somebody, period. I mean, this is, it's kind of the new... It's just like a new religion. People always have to believe in something, especially women. We've talked about that. God. So the used, women used to believe in that Oprah, God, that in God and all that, and then now they kind of just believe in zodiac. I, I'm for that. Well, I'm not. I'm for any belief, whatever. At least this one's like secular. It just is about like where the stars. No, were. this is wackadoo a, shit, though. It's less wackadoo than there was. There's a man in the sky who created us all for money. I agree. It's I agree. less wackadoo than that. It's literally about like stars and energy <coughs> technically we are all stardust like everything on earth is from the stars so it's like less wackadoo than so than giants and angels and demons and all that stuff that's way more wackadoo the than me president of my american university when i was in college the president of the whole unit, like the, a man who was a page job he was like a world renowned astrologist Astronomer or astrologist? What's the difference other than spelling and pronunciation? Astronomy is studying the stars. It's like planet. He was like a scientist. Yeah, that's astronomy. Astronomy is like when you go to the planetarium and What's you learn about- What's astrologist? Astrology is the zodiac signs. They're different. Okay, he was the, the first one. I want yeah. to get his name. Because those are very different. Mike, what was the name of our president at American University that was fired because of the phone calls with- the, with young boys. Whoa. Whoa. What? <laughs> Huge well, turn. Yeah, right. I know. At America, let me just do this. He's, uh, We're talking, what, what, I'm going to tell you. That's hilarious. I had no idea where you're going with that. So this guy was, because, you know, I was, um, you know, I was president of the student body. So I used to meet Of course you were. Okay. Classic Aquarius. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, so I used to have meet with him for the, be the liaison between the students, whatever. And he was a strange dude, brilliant, but he was like world renowned. It just reminded me because of the, the astronomy you said. That's what it is. Astronomy. Yeah. So so astronomy is like Carl Sagan, or you know, like a scientist who looks at the stars. Right. NASA is full of astronomers. Astrology is the people writing these articles, talking about no, star always. signs. So they're very so, very different. And then later, I want you to look this up. And then he was like, we found that he was like making calls from this office at the president at the university. And they would trace calls like he was like with young kids or something. And they fired him during my I don't senior know what that year. Means. What do you mean? Like, do you not know the details you're saying? I don't, or yeah, you, I don't know the details. I, I, mean, I could look, just Google it. American. In, in university president. American astronomer. University. Something. President. Scandal. I'm just going to do that. Okay. Obscene phone calls traced to AU president from the Washington Post. What's the guy's name? With a B? Richard E. Berenson. There you go. Yep. All right. There, he, was, he was my president. This is from the Washington Post in 1990. Right. Richard That's e. when I was in college. Yep. Richard E. Berenson abruptly resigned this month as president of American University while Fair, Fairfax County Police were investigating obscene phone calls that led directly and unexpectedly to the president's private phone. The investigation began several weeks ago when they received several, several complaints some of them from people employed in daycare or babysitting jobs about dirty calls. The source said that the caller in question in, te in telephone conversations with the adult women daycare providers made inappropriate and sexually orient 
oriented comments about children under their care. Berenson has not been charged with any crime. One call was placed at the home of a Fairfax County police officer, and investigators placed a trap on the phone to trace the call's origin. Uh, that fo- uh, Fairfax police then approached university officials who undertook their own investigation. Uh, but what did he say? Richard Berenson. Yeah. Yeah. Under a, there have been some complaints made about the Fairfax police are investigating what could see. I want to know what he said. Let's see. This is from the New York Times. He oh, was wow. like, no, listen, he was huge. Like, he was friends with the president of the, of the United States. Like, he was a heavy hitter. But so, do, so that first article I read mm-hmm. was from 1990. This New York Times article is from 2005. And why? says, president of, of American University agrees to resign. But why? Embroiled in a controversy over, accu- oh no, this is a different one. Oh. When, when did I graduate? He must 90. have been in the early 90s. This is a different president, by the way. This is Benjamin Ladner, who resigned in a $3.7 million deal, dollar deal with the Board of Trustees. Um, Go he, back to Embro- Berenson. He cause... was spending too much money. I guess. Here, here's the Wikipedia. Yeah, he was an si- American scientist. Let me see what he looked like. Yeah, he was, didn't he look weird? He looks like a pedophile. No yeah. offense. No, no offense, he? Rich. Are you no, still alive? look at him. Yeah, he's still alive. He's 84. Uh, weird looking though, right? Yeah. Scary. Yeah. Uh, here. Does it say anything? Alan, Alan describes the calls as filthy beyond your most horrible nightmares. Police traced the calls to Berenson's private phone line, and among other things, Berenson asked those he called whether they had sex with children. He claimed he kept a four-year-old sex slave in his basement and made repeated references to child pornography and purchasing child sex slaves at auction. Oh, my God. So he's fucked up, right? On April 7th, the Board of Trustees confronted him, and he resigned on April 8th uh, and was admitted to Johns Hopkins, where he was treated with several therapies addressing his childhood abuse. On April 10th, he issued a public statement citing exhaustion as the reason behind his decision to step down. He was charged with two misdemeanor counts of making indecent calls. He pleaded guilty to both, and his jail time was suspended on the condition that he continue receiving psychiatric treatment. Once the case become public, more than two dozen other daycares in the Fairfax area reported police that they also received calls. In the summer of 1990, Allen filed an $11 million lawsuit against Berenson and American University. She was, that was the daycare owner. The case was settled for an undisclosed sum. In 1992, Berenson returned to American University as a full-time physics professor and served in that role until he retired in 2006. They let him in, huh? <laughs> they let him back in. He, okay, he's, by the way, that's a fucked up brain. Wait, oh my and God. wait, and and you don't think he's done crazier shit than just phone calls? I don't know. He might. He might not have actually done anything. By the way, I don't. A know. lot of times, people, they like he's a, they're cowards, you know. And it's the thrill of it that that I don't know. That's fucked up. I mean, I'm sure he had, but back then it was hard. Like in 1990, there wasn't really an internet like porn, there is today. Right. So to get like CP, you, it What's would CP child, child porn. porn. It's okay. like not really good to keep saying that, especially like. On YouTube, oh, okay. like I keep saying Sorry. that word, it might trigger them okay. to be like, well, you know, so okay. people use CP, but I don't He's know. He's messed up. Remember, do you remember that story? There was the documentary Escaping the Freedmen's. Yes, that was from Mom's Her home. Mom, yeah. No, that's, and Mom knew them. <clears throat> no, that's crazy there stuff. There was this family in Great Neck Jewish that Mom family. grew up with. It was in like her neighborhood. There's and a the, documentary on it. Yeah, it's a great documentary. Yeah, it really Escaping. is a good, it's a great documentary. It's on HBO. It's an HBO doc. It's called Escaping the Freedmen's. And it's about this family that he taught the piano. father was a piano I think teacher. computer lessons, I think. Maybe piano. But it was in his home. It is, oh, because all the magazines were behind the uh, piano. So okay. he w- I don't remember the details, he might though, have, but was, he would- Was a piano teacher? He, ha- he right? ran, like, classes out of his home for the kids of the, of the town. And he was, like, this well-respected man of the town. And it turns out that he was, like- Fondling them all the, the whole time. Oh no, crazy! Ch- uh, but then CP. even more, like he had well, not CP, like literal yeah, sexual yeah. assault. Yep, it S-A. was in person. Yeah, S A L S A. What? Oh, literally. literally yeah. <laughs> and he would. He also he had they two got, sons, and they got them involved, right? Because he would molest them their whole lives, and then so when so they became teachers in this school too, in his house, and the, all of them were molesting all these children. Every day in their house in like this nice upscale affluent area. The wife area. did not know, right, or something. I don't know. I don't remember. We should rewatch that. But mom was like, "Yeah, I knew them." That's crazy. No, crazy. Yeah, people. You, you know, your brain. Your brain is a hundred percent sick and different. It's broken. I don't. Th- I. By the way, when you do that stuff, 
it's broken. I don't think you can ever repair that. I don't. No, you can't repair it. I don't think it's like a thing where you're like, oh, my parents, I can't stand my parents or this or my sibling, and you and you overcome the past. That's not what I'm talking about. This is something literally where I think you are so you're it's you a wire, wire in the diff, brain. right? You jinx. You are you are broken, and you will never be able to correct that. You just are you're a deviant. Yeah. Oh my god, that's crazy. Kids, <laughs> like look a little chippy. Seriously, stop, stop, stop. Just don't even. No, but you're sick. Yeah. Okay. Let's pivot to a whole other different pivot. combo. Okay. No, that's sick. <laughs> Now you should label them, Brian, because you're, you're, you're slacking. You know what Half I mean? of the fun and the funniness to me is that I get them wrong every sure, time. Sure, that's what you want to think. No problem. It's like the hunt of it. So speaking of the hunt, this is just something that's been going on in mine and Bryce's life for the last like two or three weeks. And I'll fill you in because I think you actually might be a little interested. Sure. In so you know Omega, the watch company. Yes. And you know Swatch, the watch company. So yes. Swatch owns Omega, like the Swatch yeah. group, right? This episode is brought to you by Manscaped, uh, who will put you on the right track for... The new year, you know, new year, new me. New year, new mean manscaped. <laughs> I don't know. Try try to, try to less hair, which you're going to be, you're going to be manscaping later today, aren't you, Bronson? I certainly will. Because I, I know you got to do the bottom of your neck, the back of your neck, and your nose hairs. Yes. I will nose be doing hairs, yeah, yeah. And with my, the nose hairs, I will be doing with my manscaped weed whacker, which, which is I great. did mine yesterday. Look how nice mine look. Look. It looks very nice. No, I did it yesterday. It's great. Yeah, big ass nostrils. No, all I spread them. You should talk. And I love when you, you hear it's a little satisfying. zapping. It's you know you get in the hairs when you twirl it around inside your nose and you hear it zapping. It's great. Manscaped can help you with all your New Year's resolution needs. I'm all sure. of them. Yeah. Okay. Every single one. Okay. You want to have a, I mean, it will help you with any sex life related. Cleanliness. Any cleanliness. Lack of sweating. Feeling better mentally because if you look better, you feel better. You should be in, true, in touch with your true body. Yes, you okay. definitely should. Um, and so Manscaped can help you do that. They've got a bunch of great products and uh, like lotions and shampoo and conditioner and body wash. Bowl for, deodorant. For whatever you need to make sure that your body is smelling good and clean, like not only clean but hygienic too, right? So you want to look good and feel good and actually be healthy. So head over to manscaped.com. If you use the code DADDYISSUES20, you'll get 20% off and free shipping on all their products. Uh, while you're there, check out the Performance Package 4.0, which is their trimmer. It's great wireless charging, Manscaped skin safe technology. You know, you don't have to worry about it really nicking you or cutting you. I trust that thing kind of with my life around my precious uh, and that's, jewels. And we very we don't endorse a lot of things. We we've been loyal customers of Manscaped. It's the greatest fucking thing. Yeah, so definitely help, let them help you get your new year off right. Uh, so once again, go to Manscaped.com. Use the code DaddyIssues20. And you'll get 20% off and free shipping. Omega are very, very high end watches. Swatch are very, very like low end watches, right? They're, Swiss watch, Swatch. Yeah. So, shout out, bro. Six months ago or so, Swatch and Omega, like Swatch Group, came out. I gotta look at something. Yeah, go ahead. I'm listening. No, because I think it'll be interesting. Okay, I just gotta do one thing. And then, as I said, I'd give a shout out to one of our listeners. Sorry. This is a quick story. And then we're gonna get into the. Um, and we got to do a fatherly advice. Well, we, we got to get into this, all the shit storm of the House of Representatives. I don't know anything going on with that. Yeah, I know. So that's why I want to tell the story real quick, but we're waiting. Uh, okay. I just got to give a shout out to one of our OG. Well, now it's weird. You're like, I, okay, go, go. What? Nothing, go. Do we uh, need to do? Janiel, who's been one of our OG listeners, who she's been great, big supporter. So shout out to you, Janiel. Thank you very much. You too, Terry, for always being OG. So I just want to give you a little... Uh, Kudos. Thanks again, guys. Appreciate it. All right. Go ahead. Before I forget. Um, Sorry. That's all right. So Swatch and Omega, like six months ago, revealed. So there's the Omega Speedmaster, which is like the Omega's version of the sub, like the Rolex Submariner, right? It's like their classic watch. It's what Neil Armstrong wore on the moon. Um, It's just like, it's like probably like seven to eight grand. Classic chronograph. Really nice looking watch, whatever, right? Omega and Swatch came out with a collaborative watch under the Swatch brand that's selling in Swatch stores called the Moon Swatch. So people call that Omega Speedmaster the Moon Watch because it was like on the moon. So this one's now called the Moon Swatch and it's $260. It's the exact same body type as the Speedmaster, which is a $7,000 watch. Um, It's made out of ceramic instead of uh, titanium stainless or whatever they make that out of. And they have eight different versions one for each planet. So they have one modeled after the sun, one after Mercury, cool. Venus. They're just buy all eight and put them away. They're very cool. And they're so cool that every that 
I've wanted one for like a couple months when you I first found get out them. about them because I was like two hundred sixty dollars for an Omega that is like kind of a collector piece. It's modeled after a thing that you can like you just have it in your watch collection, and it like will probably go up with in value because so Swatch is only selling them in stores, not online. They're not telling you when they like when they're getting shipments or whatever. So you can only go to Swatch stores. There are only like seven Swatch stores in America. So it's like you, you know, luckily we have one in Miami, which is great. Okay. Um. When they were first revealed, it became it was this huge thing in the watch world. So like everyone rushed. There were even like people wanted them so badly. There were like four people that got injured in a in a riot in Paris because there was like such a long line and they sold out or whatever. Right. So it was like a lot of hype. I've been trying to get this watch for a month now. I go every three days to the Swatch store in Miami Beach and I walk in. So because so you can't they don't they're not answering their phone because they know everyone's trying to call. So they just say, we're only selling it in stores. I mean, get online. Yeah, Second you can, market. but that's the thing. So you can buy them online. So you, you can retail, you buy them retail for 260 Online, they're selling between like 500 and 1000 depending on which one. Some are more desirable than others. But now this is why I brought this up because you said, I said it's the, like half the fun is the hunt of which one. Mm-hmm. Now it's like, I just need to buy, I need to walk into the store and buy and it get from it. them. Get if it. I buy from someone else, it's not the same. Like I need to win this game now. But you so think? every time I walk in, they go, oh, no, sorry, we've been out for eight days. And I go, well, can you, like, do you know of the, of the next shipment day? They go, sorry, they don't tell us. I'm like, can I leave my number? Can you guys call me? Sorry, we're not allowed. You're just going to have to keep trying. And I'm like, fuck this. It'd be nice to get all eight just to put away. That's what I said. I said to Bryce yesterday, I was like, how great would it be to have the whole just collection? Like, like your uh, wine, what's it, your gin? Yeah. Game my, of Thrones? Um, Is it gin? No, it's um, whiskey. whiskey. My Game of Thrones whiskey. I'll just show them to you real quick, and then we're going. I to want the to house, see them. Yeah, House of Representative stuff. Here. Um, so they're modeled after each planet. So that's the sun. It's a yellow, whatever. That's the Mercury one. One's nice. Wow, well, they're nice. That's the Venus one. That's the Earth one. The Moon. So that one's that's like the same face as the as the eight, seven thousand dollar Omega. Mars. Jupiter, that's the one I want. It's orange and tan, which is like my fucking colors. Um, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, Pluto. How like great Pluto. would it be to have the whole So look up collection. so you can buy the whole set. You can for like thousands of dollars. I'm just curious. I want to see if it's for sale. It'd be great to have the whole collection. Right? Wouldn't it be? So now it's like, that's why I brought it up because it's like the thrill of the... And now that the, I hate that I feel this way, but the fact that they're so hard to get you and the fact that everyone want, wants them, want them it's like, I fucking want them now. That's human nature. Yeah, but I hate that it is. Um, here, like StockX, this is where I've seen people are buying them. So they're selling 430 325 This is 1000 for that one. Uh, I don't know which one that is. Six Here, the whole thing, $4,348. Or this one's selling the whole thing, 6332 or 322 Let me see the whole thing, what it has in there. This is the whole collection. But this is like someone else bought these. We're buying from, so, you're buying from someone else. I don't think, so So if you were buying, let's say they're $300 each. Times yeah, they're there's, two, ten, there's 10 watches there. That's three grand. So you're paying 1300 bucks. I think it's worth every yeah. fucking penny. Yeah. They, I mean, they I'd definitely- buy that tomorrow. Would, should we buy it? You should buy it because they're collector. Swatch also said that there, there were rumors that, they're going to be limited. That like at a certain point, they're going to stop making them because they've been so like in demand. They also say that to like drive the prices up too. I think it's very cool. It's just, so yeah, that, that's just something that Bryce That'd and I have be been nice doing. nice to put in a box of 10. Yep. So there's 10 of them. What's the blue one? Uh, Uranus. No, you, fuck you. Who are you cursing? I like that. Yeah. That's a good gift. Why don't you kids for my birthday buy that for me? Okay. That's actually not a bad idea. Yeah. That's a great gift. Mm-hmm. You tell Look, my- it already went up. The last time this sold, uh, it sold for four thousand two hundred ninety six. It's already gone up sixteen percent. Look, it's fi- now up five hundred seventy eight dollars. So now from, it's, f- it's up sixteen percent from the last time all ten were sold on this website. You should. So you should. Every that's a cool gift. <coughs> yeah, yeah. So that l- let's go into the House of Representatives stuff now. Uh, do we have time for that? Because I want to. What is yeah. going on? Crazy shit. So I'll just fill everyone in and you, because this has like been. So I was watching, I was watching like C-SPAN. What's that, what's that map? It was Google Maps. A brickle. Oh, why? 
because yesterday I was looking about where I wanted to get dinner and I didn't want to go far. So I was like, what, oh, what's around me that I want to eat? Kids are amazing. <laughs> um, I ended up going to the taco shop in my fucking building. But you said it's great. Oh, it's great. So And it's open late. Yeah, until like 3 a.m. I got to do that. Yeah, Brant loved it. Pilos. Shout out Pilos. Nice. They don't sponsor, but shout out Pilos. Also, I'm going to bleep that because that's, I just said it's in my building, so I'm going to bleep that. Because yes. I don't want people to know where my building right. is. <laughs> um, and there are multiple taco shops in Brickell, so it's fine. Um, okay, so the House of Representatives. Remember like two years ago when we first started this podcast and they did like the Amen and A Woman? Yes. So remember we talked, that was When like, they first got in office. Exactly. So Monday. Made shirts about it. Yes. So Monday of this week was the new House of Representatives, right? So that was when the, the last House session started. It was, it's a new House of Representatives that started. Remember, we all voted them in back on the ballot in November. Right. And it was a, and it's they're a trying to find a House of Representative. A speaker. Speaker, right. So typically, not typically, the rule is before the House can start a session, you have to, have, you have to appoint a speaker um, as like the, lead, the president of the House of Representatives. On Monday, so the Republicans are in power in the House of Representatives, they have a majority, but a very slim majority, literally by like four seats. So the two parties can't agree. Well, it doesn't matter if the two parties can agree because so what, what's happened every other time pretty much except for a couple is that the Demo- like let's say the Democrats have the power, right? So Democrats they had choose. the power last time. They chose, so they all vote they for Pelosi, Pelosi right? and, we, and the Republicans all vote for their person. But since there's more Democrats in the House, Pelosi will win okay. because they have the majority. And then that means that on all their things, Pelosi is now the Speaker of the House. The Republicans had a majority, very slim. So on Monday, when the House first started for this new House of Representatives, uh, I forget which one it is, but whatever, the first thing they did was vote for a, for a speaker. And no one got a majority. So the Democrats all voted. So the Republicans are voting, for some in favor of the Dems. No, 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 no. So, so the Democrats all voted for their own person, Hakeem Jeffries. Every single Dem voted for their person. They don't have enough seats to win a majority, so it doesn't matter who they're voting. Okay. The Republicans, most of them, voted for Kevin McCarthy, who is just like a longtime Republican. Okay. Middle of the road. He's not really, he's not even really a Republican or a Democrat. He's just like a, a politician. Okay. He was buddies, buddies with Trump, but then the second Trump wasn't president anymore, he wasn't buddy buddies with him anymore. Just a classic politician, old okay. school. He didn't get enough votes to be speaker. I think like 20 Republicans vote. Some voted for different people, right? Some were voting for other people, other rep- representatives. Okay, that, that's a little abnormal. It's like, oh, wow, the party's not in control. So the thing with the House, before I get into this, the, the whole reason why you have a Speaker of the House is to be like, you know how you have like the Speaker of the House and the minority whip. Have you heard that? I've heard of it. I don't know what it is. So... They're both the same position. One is just for the majority party and one's for the minority party. The reason why they call it a whip is because they're supposed to be the person that has the power and the ability to whip votes to the party's favor. Okay. So there's someone that sh- that the party- But they still, do they still use the term whip? Yeah, the minority whip. So even though that whip, they used to whip slaves, that's how politically- Oh, interesting. Say that? Yeah, I wonder if they'll ever Okay, we got to get rid of the word fucking plantation from things, but yet fucking whip is okay. All right, nice. I, won- I wonder if, if they'll change that. Um- so, like, now the minority whip is Hakeem Jeffries because he was who the Democrats all voted to be their leader of their party in the House. So, the ha- Speaker of the House is basically just the majority whip. We just called him the Speaker of the House. So, their job is to have control over everyone in their party to be able to, like, if a bill is coming to the floor to vote, and let's say, you know, half of the party is like, I don't know which way I'm going to vote. And they're like, no, as a Republican party, we need this to get done. They come in and they, they go march into your office and go, you're going to fucking vote for this shit. And you, you go, okay, yeah, they're the leader of the party. I'm going to do it. So when a Speaker of the House doesn't get a, like doesn't unanimously get voted by the party, it's already like, whoa, 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 whoa. It's already gonna be that means he doesn't have power, power, right? Like he, the party doesn't respect him, or at least some people. So he'll have a hard time whipping votes in the party's favor. So he didn't get the first vote. It's fine. It's happened. It's happened a few times. They voted again. Didn't get the second vote. Didn't get a majority. They adjourned. That was in the same day. They adjourned. They were like, okay, let's go figure this shit out. Talk to each other. They came back. And, he, and now it's like a new day, a new House of Representatives. So when a, the House cannot meet as of an official House until, until there's that. a speaker. And so technically, too, you, house, rep, house of Representatives members cannot be sworn in as representatives until the House is meeting officially. 
So none of these people, so for the last week, we have not had a House of Representatives. We, and the Senate has been on recess until January 23rd. So that means for the last week, we have not had a government, a, a legislative branch, at least. We know we have still have the president. But there is not, there, the House of Representatives has not existed because it hasn't been able to meet. And there's not technically not representatives. They haven't been sworn in. And Senate has, is, is in recess. So there's no senators. So the last week of, of this year. It was better. I think it's better. So that's what the, so the, some of the po- people, the Republicans that weren't voting for McCarthy were doing that on purpose because they were saying like, we're protesting this government kind of thing. So they met a second time, still didn't do it. They met a third time. He lost even more votes. Now he's getting less Republican votes because now more Republicans are splintering to other people. <laughs> a fourth time, a fifth time, a sixth time. He's losing more and more. So why don't they put somebody else up there? Because he, by losing more, he has like, so he, needs, he needed 218 votes to become speaker. That was the majority. He was getting like 212, then 211, then 210. If they put... It's not like he was getting like 80, you know? He was getting the vast majority of the party. Well, but it's going down, so it's a problem. Yeah, so then I'll fast forward. I'll just fast forward. The main two people that were leading the, the uh, charge against him were Matt Gates, who's a rep from Florida, and Lauren Boebert, who is a rep from Colorado, I think. <coughs> the two of them were like big MAGA, big Trump people. Gates even went in like the seventh vote. For speaker, so they at, they call your name out and you stand up and you announce who you want. He he announced Donald Trump as speaker, uh, just as like a, a joke protest thing. But long story short, they basically were just saying there are things that we want to happen, and we will not vote for McCarthy until we get those to happen. So a few of them, a lot of them were like we don't really know, but the main was that one was that they wanted, um. To be able to, I forget the exact like details of it, but basically the gist is of like that w- any one person in Congress in the House can like protest, kind of like a filibuster thing. They can like sit, say that they don't agree with something and then Congress has to like shut down. You So currently it's like, I think you need seven to all like agree. And they want one? And they want it to change it to one, I which guess- would... I, mean, I think that's, it will never get anything done, and, right. and it's the inmates running the asylum again. Yeah, so nothing would get done. That yeah, was like their main thing that they very wanted. Childish. Yeah, like, and seriously. And so it gets even more childish up. because they were going, on, they were tweeting and going in line and saying, and saying, "We will. There's nothing that will get us to vote for McCarthy unless our demands are met." The problem is usually in a government, you have like a, a good majority, so it doesn't matter. There were like seven of them in this in this group. Cool, whatever. Yeah. It doesn't matter, but because the Republicans had such a slim majority, they were holding the entire government hostage for their demands. They also wanted some of their group on, like, in place into important positions. So they, like, wanted one of their group, I think they're part of the Freedom Caucus, so they're like, we want a Freedom Caucus person to be on the House Rules Committee. We want them to be on the House, uh, like, Intelligence Committee, right? They were, like, holding the government hostage, being like, if you don't do this, we're not voting for you. So again, long story short, it, Children. it went to the Children. 15th vote. It went a full week. Our Congress and what happened? was not making any decisions, was not meeting as a government. So literally, like we, we did not have a government the last week. And what happened to the 15th vote? So another thing was that because the House hasn't been able to meet yet, the House Rules Committee hasn't been able to form, which is the, what sets the rules for Congress for the year. So there have been no rules for how Congress is to operate. So usually like the House will vote and then they'll adjourn and they'll all go back to their offices and they'll discuss. They weren't allowed to do that because there were no rules set. So all of their discussions have happened in the House live on C-SPAN. So like I was watching it last night in their 14th vote and he lost the vote and Matt Gates was there and he was like, I'm not voting. And you saw all of these congressmen fighting in the House chamber, one of them had to be restrained and pulled back because Matt Gates is sitting there like this with his arms crossed saying, I'm not going to vote for you until you give me what I want. And they're all like fucking, like literally in each other's faces. Was it a child? Like I took pictures of it because I was like, what the? Usually that stuff happens behind closed doors, but we were seeing it all played out. That's not, that's a bad start, by the way. That's a very bad start. 
the Democrats were eating it up. The Democrats wanted to go as right. long as they possible. Let them f- they rather them fight with it from within. Absolutely. Yeah, I mean, so so finally, after, so you saw that fighting, yelling, fingers pointing, cursing. You didn't hear it, but you saw it. It was like aggressive. <laughs> and then finally, him and his team voted present. So they didn't end up voting for McCarthy, but they voted for they didn't vote for anyone. So that now he needs a lower threshold to get it. So last night at one a.m., he got he he was, became speaker of the house. The problem now is that the speaker of the house there's no, right there's no respect doesn't have control of his right, party right. So like nothing. Maybe that will change over time. Maybe that will move. You know, people get very they forgetful and move on. Maybe that move because that sounds very childish. The Freedom Caucus knows now that they have power because there's such a slim majority that no matter what, if Republicans want to pass any legislation in the House, they have to have Matt Gates and his team on board. So Matt Gates can just be like, "I'm not going to vote for that unless you give me this," and they have. That's that's how government works. But usually, you do a lot of deals. He has all the power. He holds all the chips. He proved it. He he let government go a week without any of that. Part of me loves it. I don't think it's a good I don't idea. like Matt Gates at all um, as a person or a politician, but part of me loved this because it was like, one, showing how incompetent government is that they can't get their shit together. And also, a main thing that he was saying, he was like, last week they passed, or like the week before they passed this $1.7 trillion right, omnibus bill, bill right. in one day without any discussion. Correct. So he's like, I'm going to force us to all fucking have discussions on our important issues. That's a good thing. Which I liked. That's a great thing. And so, I mean, it was also a little bit childish because it's like, okay, you're stalling the government from happening. But I like the idea of that. But I'm okay with that. Right. And so that that. was like one of his main points. He was like, he he tweeted last night, like right after they were elected, or maybe Boebert tweeted it. They were like, this week there was more discussion in the House chambers than there was in the last four years combined. Which is true. That's a good thing, though. I think that's a good thing. Yeah, I mean, like, important decisions shouldn't just be made. I don't. I don't like the idea of just like a part, a party rubber stamp is going to the party, right? And so that everyone's just behind McCarthy. So let's just do it. No, I agree with that. So it should be discussion. It felt a little like we live in a two-party system, obviously, but But it it felt felt, more bureaucratic. Bureaucratic. It just felt like a coalition government, like you know, like England or a parliamentary system, right? They'll have like twelve parties. Some are really small and some are really large, but sometimes in order to get the majority, you need a really small party in your team. So you have to go to the small party and be like, what do you guys want? We need and you. Let's work right. together. We need, to vote. we need you. That's what this felt like to me, which I like. I think that makes a stronger government than two parties. Um, I mean, Matt Gates is, I don't like him and his policies, but like, I like the idea of what this was happening. And, but now it just set a horrible precedent. This, con- this Congress is going to be the weakest Congress There's ever. Issues. They're, they're just going to be the weakest Congress ever. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I think, look, the government, it's a big problem. The Dems, the Republicans, it's a big fucking problem. And uh, and all that shit's such a... If, if this does create more asking questions, stirring up more conversation, um, I'm fine with it. Because the way... When you told me that, that $1.7 trillion thing passed in less than 12 fucking hours, over 4,000 pages, no one's reading it, that's a fucking joke. I mean, you have fiduciary yeah. constituents, and they're not even reading the stuff. Let's Terrible. see if I so like. Let's see. Uh, yeah, like this was last night. Do there's not really any audio from it. Let me see. Why is it slow motion? So I watched the whole thing live. So there was. Let's see if we can find it. But he is not over the finish line, and, and he's he walking can't away. Get there, he's. Look at- I want to they put cover see his McCarthy. Mouth. Who was that they covered? That mouth. was another representative who was walking up to, to Gates and like saying like "Get in line, you motherfucker" kind of thing. And then his aide probably like pulled him back. So that's Matt Gates. I want to see because McCarthy walked up to him after he lost the the vote last night. I don't know if I can find it. What did he say? Gates, if. Uh, McCarthy walked up to him and was like, what the fuck are you doing? And then I think McCarthy's son, because he was like this young guy who was sitting next to McCarthy the whole night, came up and like started pointing his finger at it. And like McCarthy's aide like pulled his son back. It was like, we're, and we were watching this live in our government. It was just crazy. It was, it was like a crazy thing to watch. <laughs> um, but I mean, we'll see what happens now. And even so Trump too, this was another interesting part of it. <laughs> yeah, right, buddy? Yeah, Trump on like the fifth vote or whatever. 
tweet or put on his truth social or whatever was like we need to vote for kevin mccarthy he's good i put my support in him republicans all vote for kevin after that kevin who wait who won kevin mccarthy okay after trump endorsed him mccarthy lost more votes oh yeah yeah which which is just an interesting aye, aye, aye. i mean so it not only is it interesting that the republican party is fracturing but it's also interesting that trump not only Trump lost his sway, but he actually has negative pull. Unfortunately, because of where the world's going, what happens ha- has happened. Trump is damaging himself. It's terrible. Then look at this. Look at this video. This is I, I forget who this was, but he was like getting right in his face. Talking to him about something. I don't know what he's telling him. Oh, like, you better fucking vote. We'll give you whatever you want. You won. Like, he won. Gates won this standoff. Because so of, why this one person's vote meant so much? Yeah, because that's the thing. But also Gate. So And who was that guy? I don't know who that one was. But at the end of the night, it was um Oh yeah, see so, so look. Oh no, this is not real audio. I want to watch that. So this is McCarthy walked over right He's after the he lost the won. vote. Right after he okay. walked around and stood and this is Bobert. They're the main two that voted against him. And so at the end of the 14th vote, which is what this so it's was. Not una- it's not uh, anonymous. No, no, no. You stand up. They say, they say, Representative Bloom. And I stand up and say, I vote for Kevin McCarthy. That's what they do. Bunch of children. Um, this was after the 14th vote. And now at this point, McCarthy had 216. So he, o- he, he just needed two to get the majority. So he just needed the two of them. So they had all the power. In order to do it. So he walked over to them. I mean, you don't know what they're saying because the volume is muted. That's his son. And look at, like, they're, look, look how smug he's being. Huh. I mean, I wish we could hear what they were talking about. Like, this is our government. They're a bunch of children. They're all fucking idiots. And then, look, this guy comes in. All right. Nice hair piece, by the way. Yeah. He's a chin strap for that. Oh, God. But wait a minute, aren't you allowed to vote who you want to vote for? Aren't you? Look at these guys. Yeah, but the party. I get it. I get it. I mean, we don't have have two parties, really. It's what this proved. We have multiple parties that just happen to all operate under two names. It's ridiculous. All right, we got to do quickly a uh, a fatherly advice because then we got to go for dinner. The government is such a joke. It really is such a fucking joke. But also, too, like while this was happening, so because the House Intelligence Committee couldn't be formed because of there being no House, um, the Joint Chiefs of Staff haven't been able to meet. So, like, our military hasn't been able to operate. Our, like, so many things have. They still will do things. They're still, listen, it's not. Of so, course, but. They're still doing their shit. It doesn't shut down. I want you to say that. I know what you're saying. No law can be quote. Okay, but so big deal. You don't so see that, no that's law. a that's a big deal. But the laws they make are this fucking is things their, up too. What I'm saying is like this is their one job. This is what everyone elected sure, them but they for. They resolved and it for a they week. Resolved it, but, they're playing kids shit. But they're but they're all and fucking, wasting all, all our money. They're all fucking corrupt. They waste our money all the time. Yeah, they're a joke. Right, but but if they're you, a joke, you can just be like ah, oh. or you like I'm annoyed. But so you're saying me. don't you, be annoyed. You, like no, I'm not. I'm not saying anything. But you're saying. I get you expect more, but they're so fucking corrupt. It's such ridiculous. It's the only thing that's good about social media is that stuff is out there to the public. That part is good. You know what I'm saying? Like the fact that you can read it, you can share it with our listeners, that we could see this, that's too long. Um, you know what I'm saying? That that's the only thing that's good. Yeah. Um, okay. So let's see. This is from Vince. It says, My mom and dad have been divorced for around 10 years. And now my sister is having the first ever baby in our family. My dad has never really talked to my sister, but only has stayed in contact with me so we can still have contact with my sister. Keep in mind, my sister wants nothing to do with him. My dad lives in Italy, so the last time we saw him was 2016. He keeps calling me to know when the new baby nephew is going to be born. Um, my new baby nephew is going to be born, but my sister has expressed to me multiple times that she does not want my dad in her baby's life. Her reasoning is that he hasn't communicated with her for six years, but now that this baby is being born, he's all of a sudden wants to be part of her life. My dad doesn't know that my sister feels this way, and for some reason, in the back of my head, I feel like my dad is just going to spontaneously show up 
in my town. I don't know what to do or if I should do anything. Love the pod. Keep it up. Well, first of all, I uh, have a clear answer. Hi, I Vince. Think. Um, thank you for your support and listening and 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 reaching out. So we appreciate the uh, that you feel comfortable to do so. I have to tell you something, Vince. It's not your. You have no dog in this fight. It's not your baby. Um, you stay out of it. You, if your father puts you in the middle, you say you can't put me in the middle. It's your sister's decision. It is strictly and solely her decision. You have to respect it. It's her baby, her family. Uh, I'm not saying she's right or wrong, but it's her decision, and you need to butt out and respect her decision. You can listen to your father, hear what he has to say, but do not get involved, do not give any advice, and do not, um, you just can't communicate anything about your sister and her child to your dad. You have to be Switzerland, be neutral in this. What do you think, Bronnie? Yeah, that was exactly, like, my because exact thing was pl- you have to listen his, to your sister. It's not It's not his place. It's not his child. It's not his baby. Might it's be not hard his relationship for, with the dad. Right, it might be hard for him, but you, you, you can't let your father put you in the middle of it. No, you're not you're because not. you'll end up ruining your relationship with your father and your sister. But you're but you're not the conduit, and it's wrong your father doing. It. I got to tell you something. Yeah, there's nothing fa- to do with listen, it. Listen, I don't know your father, but he's wrong. Okay, if he hasn't seen his for since 2016 or been involved, you know my thoughts. Without being offensive, I don't think your fucking father's a good man. That's my opinion. Give me a fucking break. You can see your fucking kids. You can make an effort to be your kids. He doesn't have to be the best guy in the world. But, yeah, but you can have a relationship. You can have a relationship. Even and, if you live in a different country. Correct. And 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 I'm sorry. Imagine if you haven't seen me since 2016. By the way, yeah. let me just say this. Then I'm not your father. Well, I mean, I can understand. Like, no. no you what, haven't seen me since 2016. Yeah. Would I? you consider me That's your father? I was going to say, I, I, can un, I can understand why Her, the, the, sister. the sister would be like, no. Nah. Right. Who is he? He's a fucking, you see a waiter more. when you If you go to a restaurant twice in, the, in those... In those um, Six or years. Six years. You have you seen that waiter more? Yeah. I mean, give me a fucking break. I mean, the, yeah. The answer is you just you just gotta not even just take your sister aside. Just step out of it. You're you say, not Dad, don't get me involved. Do not discuss my yeah. sister if with me. If you want to talk to, if you, you want to, if her. you want to meet the baby, you ask. Right, uh, Lu- Luisa or whatever. I'm trying to think of an Italian name. Yeah, because um, he the dad U.S. Italy U.S. Go Greta. No, that is uh, not Italian. Nah. That's German, yeah. Greta. No, but honestly, um, Lucia. That's what I meant yeah, to say. But I would say to you, Isabella, do not get me involved at all and move on. I have different conversations. Do not get involved. It, that's a simple one. We wish you the best of luck, buddy. All right, Bronnie, love you. Love you. Too. Feel better. Bye, everybody. You're joking, right? Well, yeah. I'm trying to be hopeful. I'm trying to be optimistic yeah. about that. Well, I guess you're too young to be a little pessimistic like me. The fucking things I see out there, people are stupid.